Hey everybody, welcome to Continue Watching. My name is Anton. And this is Tyler. And I'm Trey. And today we are watching Parasite the Maxim. Uh, this is the second half, episodes 13 through 24. Um, it kind of got split into two seasons, this uh, this show, uh, which is really good for us. Plus, it's really too long to do in one episode, so we split it into two. But this is 13 through 24. So if you want to take off on those descriptions, Tyler? Yep. Okay, so uh, episode 13, Hello, Sadness. Shinichi returns to the crime scene to try and keep the feeling of mourning for Kana. He is followed by a human private investigator hired by Ryoku uh, Tamara, and Migi is caught on camera. Because they're dumb. Episode 14, The Selfish Gene. The private detective, uh, Kuramori. I, that sounds wrong. It, but Kur, Kuramari, Kuramori, sure. Discovers Shinichi's secret and flees from him. Concerned about Kuramori's intentions. Shinichi, Shin, Shinichi gosh. Seeks help from uh, Mamoru in order to track him down. Episode 15, Something Wicked This Way Comes. Although he still has doubts, Kuramori reluctantly decides to help Shinichi hunt down Reiko and her group of parasites. But when a strange man appears, Shinichi soon goes from the hunter to the hunted. That, that, that episode's cool. That's episode cool. 16, Happy Family. A powerful parasite unlike any Shinichi has ever seen before attacks. And soon, Shinichi and Migi are running for their lives. Meanwhile, Kuramori's search for the truth puts his family in harm's way. Episode 17, The Adventure of the Dying. After Reiko's judgment is called into question, three members of her own group seek to eliminate her. With Reiko, or Reiko otherwise occupied, Kuramori takes advantage to seek revenge for his family. Episode 18, More Than Human. With her feelings regarding humanity and the purpose of parasites now in question, Reiko encounters Shinichi and Migi one final time. When police arrive on the scene, Shinichi soon finds herself, or Shinichi soon finds himself at the center of their attention. In Cold Blood, Episode 19, investigators continue to hold Shinichi, certain that there is something he is hiding. In an effort to uncover his secrets, they soon bring him face to face with the serial killer, Uragami who has a unique ability. Episode 20, Crime and Punishment. The police commence their operation to take out Hirokawa and the remaining parasites. However, plans go awry when the parasites attempt to fight back. Things take an even more gruesome turn when Goto appears on the scene. Episode 21, Sex and Spirit. In the chaos of the raid, Goto escapes and vows to return to kill Shinichi. Plagued by fear and with nowhere to run, Shinichi turns to Satomi for comfort and to fuck. <laughs> yeah. Episode 22, Quintessence. Quintes, quintessence. 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 Mm -hmm. And Awakening. Shinichi decides to take Gato head on and tracks him to a remote area to fight him. When the battle goes awry, Migi makes an unexpected sacrifice. Life and Oath. Episode 23, when Migi no long, with Migi no longer at his side, Shinichi attempts to take on Goto by himself one final time. And episode 24, Parasite, an unexpected but familiar enemy services, and Migi gives a final farewell. All right, that's that. I don't even know if I'd call it final. It's probably going to show back up and make yeah. Shinichi erect again for no reason. <laughs> well, wouldn't you? Get pranked, bro. And nice while they're riding, <laughs> while he's on the bus, just the random butt grab without him noticing. <laughs> nice to, put him in a, bro. <laughs> to put him in an Wait. awkward situation. Wait, I've seen this episode before. <laughs> I, uh, still really impressed with this show. Like, supremely impressed. I think it really ratcheted up the tension in the last few episodes. Especially when Shinichi was scared of Goto, you know? Mm -hmm. When he's freaking out and it's like, everyone is. It's like, yeah. That's true. It really could be literally anybody, Shinichi. I would have gone too. I would have ran away, far away. I definitely Coward. would. S <laughs> I definitely would say that I did like the second half a lot better than I, than the first half. I'm glad they fixed that stupid issue where he's like, "My heart is falling apart." 
Yeah, but it took till like episode eighteen. I know. I always think I was reminded of uh, not. I almost said Sailor Moon, Star Wars, episode three, when she's like, "You're tearing me apart, Anakin." It's all I could do. Like, shut up, Shinichi. Stop being <laughs> a little whiner, baby. <laughs> You're taking a path I can't follow. Oh no, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't actually see that coming though. With with that woman, I honestly thought that she was going to follow through with testing stuff on the baby. It was really cool that she like became human in the end. You know. Yeah. Wow, that's really uh, arrogant of you to say become human. She just gained oh. a higher understanding of of self. I don't understand what your what your issue is. You're classifying it as human when other creatures can attain the same. It's uh, incorrect. Is it, Thank though? Thank you for helping me check my privilege. Is it, yeah. though? You gotta understand, you name things after something that does it first, so you gotta change that to that it's a process, not a right. <laughs> I disagree. You guys are all correct. I'm being uh, foolish. A foolish <laughs> fool, if you will. Fool, you fool. Tyler is dork. You dork. I thought it was funny. Um, speaking of differences of thinking, how the entire time the parasites are. Well, I shouldn't say the parasites. I think it's mostly Reiko and Miki. They're like, you humans fucking suck, bro. Like you do all this stuff and you're hypocrites about things. And a lot of things you do don't make sense. And then at the end, Shinichi's like, well, it really isn't our place to decide what should live and what should die. Everything deserves to have a chance. It doesn't. I think it does to an extent. What type of extent do you mean? Well, um, mosquitoes don't deserve to live. Can't argue there. I I could be wrong, but I think ecosystems can survive without mosquitoes. I'm like uh, really almost certain that they can. Yeah. I think they're just a hindrance to us and they don't really benefit anyone but themselves. So they deserve to die. It's not their right to live, but other creatures like we can, I'm not against us eating creatures. Okay. But things we don't eat. Yeah, sure. Why not let them live like case by case basis? Hmm. Just basically like it is now. <laughs> like, I don't know. Some instances where like, yeah, poaching. Sure, don't don't poach. But that's already what we agree upon as a society. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, if a parasite came, yeah, maybe they eat people. But guess what? Reiko herself said that like, yeah, she hasn't killed that many people since she's been able to sustain herself on the food that we eat. I think she was just trying to prove that she could. I don't know if like it's that she wanted to or not, though. Well, it doesn't matter if she wanted to. She was able to, and she was doing it. It was pretty impressive. So it's like, at that point, I don't know. If, if, a par- if, if I had all knowledge of the parasite, and I was Commissioner Japanese Gordon, I don't think I would have killed her. I would have been like, okay, well, she went through a transformation and now she is not killing people. Yeah, he didn't have any contacts though cuz he didn't meet her and well, she yeah, I'm time. saying if, if he had perfect knowledge like Oh, oh okay. I was going to say yeah. okay. Shinichi was like cuz at that point it's like okay, well you I don't think that you should be killed. I'm not going to hold your past transgressions against you based off of a s- entire organism like difference of knowledge and way of thinking uh, i still wish that i had a parasite that wasn't is anybody except for what did parasite change his name to the jaw one ralph lauren um do you, do you guys remember who i'm talking about yeah yeah um stars just says jaw in the list that i'm looking at oh yeah he did just change his name to jaw i forgive me i was giving the writers credit because that's really goddamn stupid yeah it is yeah i think like a hand would be like i feel like an arm is like the perfect parasitic location i'm with you there I mean, for the type of uh parasite that it is <laughs> like i feel like a leg would function. be really 
inconvenient. If it was just one leg, yes. If it could be like both legs, then that might be a different story. I don't want to be crude, but I don't want a parasite to be my dick. <laughs> True. Okay. <laughs> well, I draw the line at my crotch area. Yeah, but don't you still get to fill things? Maybe that would be a huge boon to you to have. Yeah, because you can... Dick, dick parasites. You can mold that thing. Think about how happy your significant other would eventually be if you got another one of those. Like, it's got, like, all of the functions. It could probably vibrate, too. There you go. Don't talk so loud. Courtney, you'll get some ideas. <laughs> um, penis transplant. What do you mean, penis transplant? That's super vague. Penis transplant, because his penis is, like, going to be used for some guy's heart. Oh, Look at me, I'm Mr. Such and Such Penis. Yeah, it's like the second episode. Yeah, the second episode of like Interdimensional Cable. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear you say Rick and Morty. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm Mr. Such and Such Penis. I have such I'm such Mr. Such and Such Johnson. I have such and such for a penis. Never heard of never seen it fail to get a laugh. <laughs> but yeah, that's unnatural. I I'm fine with what I've been given. It's good somebody is. Yeah. We should all be fine with what we're given in aspects of things we cannot change. It's really cute. Thanks. <laughs> well, I think that's a, probably a good transition into our sponsor segment real quick because uh, the sponsor for this week is another podcast. This one is called That Is Not My Name. Uh, so this one is a rewatch series specific to a single show, uh, and that is Spartacus. And if I can remember, that has some um, adult stuff in there. Bro, so there's you, lots of banging. I've never seen it, and so I don't know what's about it. Like, what it's about. I've, I've just heard the phrase Game of Thrones, but with even more sex. <laughs> you, you see at least one titty okay. per episode. So I'm saying if you liked our previous conversation, go ahead and watch Spartacus with this oh. rewatch <laughs> podcast. Yeah, dude, Spartacus <laughs> All right. Well, um, they do have a little script. Uh, I'm going to read pitching their show. So hold on and let me go ahead and get that going. Uh, So passion, betrayal, blood, scandals, gods. Join us. uh, Whoa. Join us on as we. I'm pretty sure they messed that up a little bit. I'm sorry if I'm poaching if you're listening here. (laughs) Join us as we journey through the Stars series Spartacus. Uh, join us on That Is Not My Name, a Spartacus Rewatch podcast available on Anchor at Anchor.com or Anchor.com, Anchor.fm slash That Is Not My Name or anywhere you listen to your podcasts. So uh, if you have seen Spartacus, go ahead and check that podcast out. It's Do it! Spartacus is pretty good, actually. I've heard good things. I've never watched it because I don't have HBO Max or Stars or. It's a Star series. He just said that. I thought he said HBO Max, too. I thought HBO had partnerships with, like, Stars and Cinemax. No, those are separate companies. Maybe I'm just thinking of, like, the premium package you get with DirecTV. Jeez. Somebody, mix th- mix somebody's th- call center days. <laughs> I always mix, th- mix this series up, uh, Spartacus, uh, up with Rome. I think it was an HBO one. I never saw Rome. Well, I mean, they're basically the same. Rome is the Spartacus spinoff. I was confused. I really liked the Spartacus movie starring Kirk Douglas. And believe me, I was shocked when uh, I saw the Spartacus TV show. I was like, I don't remember seeing Spartacus's dick that much <laughs> in the movie. You know? Something's not right. Why is he hanging dong? Bro, he hangs dong. But I felt like the themes of whatchamacallit, were actually advanced fairly well moving forward, you know? The, uh... Cool. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, well, I just... What, the, what did you take as the theme? Oh, just humanity's inability to deal with what was potentially another apex predator, and the fear that comes along with that, and I think that it was really well instilled because you could feel... You could really feel the tension. I mean... That's why I like that when Shinichi was running away from Goto so bad or so much because Shinichi was like, he's going to die. And he's like, I'm going to die. And I know I'm going to die. It's true. You know? 
I think they could have handled it. Not they as in like the people who made the show or the, the manga, the people in the, 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 the civilians and the government, they could have handled it differently. Oh, I think yeah. they should have handled it differently. That dude was just so ready to murder everyone around. He's like, yep, they move, kill him. Oh, and I really liked Oni Go- was not Oni Gawara, that's from Mob Psycho. Um, <laughs> what's his name? The serial killer. Oh, um, why can I not see the guy? <laughs> Thank you, Cthulhu. It might have been that, but I doubt it. <laughs> oh, Yuragami. Yeah, I really like that guy a lot. I really liked his English voice actor, too. Mm-hmm. Like, I liked that. And. I know we live in a society, but I really did get, like, the way that he was talking, I got some Heath Ledger Joker vibes, you know? Mm. Just the way that his cadence, the way that he talked, not like this is the new Joker, but, like, he talked very similar to the way that the Joker from the Dark Knight talks. I mean, I can see where you're going with that, but... The way that his words just uh, kind of ran I, together. Yeah, um, I don't really see it that well, but I can kind of see where you may have come to that. I feel you. But that's just his voice acting work. I thought he was re- he was really menacing too. And as much as I I thought the final episode wasn't necessarily all that great, and maybe not even needed, but I really uh, I like that he came back. He's like, what, you think I wasn't just going to do this? Like, come on. It yeah, was pretty I, clear that I was going to do this. I thought it was kind of sad. I was like, come on, man. Did he show back up? Yeah, so tell me has been through enough. She really has been. I thought that episode where they banged was really weird. It was a strange way that it was presented, that's for sure. I'm with you there. Yeah, it's, it's like, almost... hey, do you want to come back to my place and we can talk about this? Like, it almost kind of seemed like it's because she was felt sad for him. Pity. Yeah. The most powerful of aphrodisiacs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a magic tentacle vibrating penis. I just need my wife to feel even more sorry for me. Oh, boy. He's trying. <laughs> yeah, she's been through enough. She almost died. She basically almost died twice in one day. In one little encounter. I know. It's wild. And then I thought it was weird how they were just... He was just lying there still, and she was like, oh, they think we're dead. (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) I mean, it kind of is like a sense of completion, though. I mean, like, yeah, they've been through a lot, but after that, like, all of the loose ends are pretty much tied. Yeah, there was no other space for anything else to happen. And they made it pretty clear that, like, all of the other parasites that remain... Um, essentially got smart in that they're now prepared and they need to just, just hide. And they're eating human food. Yeah. Adapt, I improvise, wild. overcome. He likes it. He likes his steak or whatever he was eating. Uh, how would you like your steak today, sir? Oh, yeah. Uh, ultra rare. Ew. Still a person. Still a person. I'm going to have to ask you politely yet firmly to leave. Do you think Hank Hill? Hank Hill probably wouldn't let a parasite take him over. He probably would be in the same thing with Shinichi, but he would get his his narrow urethra all switched up. <laughs> he'd go, Whoa! And it's just cotton hill. And he'd just say, <laughs> I, I killed Fitty Man! <laughs> Anton, have you seen King of the Hill? I've seen episodes, but not enough to... The best anime that America has to offer. <laughs> there is an actual ongoing argument in Japan whether the King of the Hill sub or dub is superior. <laughs> really? It really yeah. It's really interesting, but it really is. And obviously, the sub is superior. Of course. This is a one case where that's the, the way that it works. I'm going to have to give that a look. Should we? Can we watch um, dubbed King of the Hill with subtitles? Oh my lord, I would love to do that. <laughs> God damn it. That would be fun. It would be fun. I saw, um, God, I can remember it. I, I saw a video where, uh, it's is it Boomer? I think that's on, on King Boomer? of the Hill. Yeah, the one that Boomer? can't. 
uh, speak like yeah, actual power. Yeah, it's called an accent. <laughs> okay, well they remixed what he says and they added he added drums to it. Um, and it, so he just it's actually just quotes just like one long sentence but then he added like beats to it with drums and so it almost sounds like rhythmic that's really cool that's really cool if I can find it I'll definitely show you guys we'll do that who doesn't like King of the Hill when I was a kid I didn't like it King of the Hill or Parasite oh dad watched and I was like dad this isn't funny it took some growing up before I realized. Now I, I appreciate it. Hank Hill is the best TV dad. Not as like my favorite TV dad, but like uh, the caliber of fathers. Do you know what I mean? Like he is. I will watch that as soon as we are done here. <laughs> but I mean, as far as like somebody I'd be cool was my dad, it would be Hank Hill, you know? But I think mm-hmm. best TV dad we can all agree is Randy Marsh. <laughs> I don't know. You don't agree that it's Randy Marsh? I don't think I can. What? Right, he is the best, funniest TV dad. Who who beats him? Um. And if you say Shinichi's dad, you're a liar. He's a quitter and a drunk. <laughs> no response, Tyler? I thought that would have made you laugh. I think we lost Tyler. But yeah, I am funny. I promise. <laughs> I laughed. <laughs> oh, I know. I appreciate it. The fact that you laugh does mean a lot. I got you, bro. But my hey. low self-esteem dictates that both of you laugh. <laughs> no, it's Discord's been kind of fucky, and it's been cutting in and out. I've never heard that phrase before. Fucky? Mm-hmm. How old are you, and you haven't heard that phrase? It, it just sounds like you mispronounced funky. No. I don't here, got the funk. Here we go. Well, you heard it here first, kids. I got the, I got the funk. He's got a the funk right here. here. Moly ball of tits from outer space. From outer space. Pretty smooth. Slapping nice. that bass guitar like a funky priest. Just making that bass guitar fast and loose like some sort of delirious funky priest. We need to watch the Mighty Boosh for this show. No, we don't. They only have two good things. All of the episodes are worthwhile. And it's Old Greg 1 and Old Greg 2. There's no Old Greg sequel. What about well, the I, I consider the funk one. What, what about the one where the grandma is uh, a zombie? And all the old people are I zombies. I don't think I've ever seen that. It's really funny. I'll take your word. Bro, they work in a zoo. And all of the music's original. It's really nice. Do you know what is really nice? No, but you're going to tell me. You're goddamn right. Parasite. It was pretty good. Oh, yeah. It, I think I like the first half better than the second half, though. Why? Well, I am opposite of that. Well, I felt like I liked the progression that Shinichi had. And then it just seemed like he went bitch mode. Yeah, Shinichi just went kind of bitch mode. He stopped being so, I don't know, cold and logical he became, thinking. He became human-like. Yeah, but sometimes humans are bitches. Okay, Reiko Tamura. Well, he just was like, ah, I'm just, ah. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. I gotta tell you, I like, I like Shinichi when he's all done and there's like a full-on adult hanging out with his girlfriend. I dug his look in the last episode. I wish he'd have a different haircut. Why? It, it was a good mix to show that he's grown as a person. <laughs> yeah, well, all he was missing was glasses. <laughs> to show that he's grown as a person. The time has passed. He looked like a, he looked like a nerd. Yeah, but he looked like a nerd to begin with. Yeah, not, not once he lost his glasses. Now then he, he got looks, cool hair. Now he looks like a nerd who could kick your ass. No, he looks like a nerd who probably is crying because he didn't read this the last book of his favorite author. Yeah, but there's still nerds that can kick your ass that do that. Or kick my ass, at least. I can't say that they'd kick your ass. Yeah, there's people who can kick anyone's ass, well, most people's asses in all walks of life, but there's a certain stereotype that goes along with a certain look. And he looked like a dumb nerd who couldn't kick anyone's ass. True. Except for when he was an adult, then he was like, I'm the baddest of the guys. He's that Billie Eilish song. I'm the bad guy. I really like it. I really like that song. Did you guys like like Goto more, or did you like uh, Reiko more? Which one did you you think was the better villain? (laughs) Reiko? I do kind of wish that Reiko would have been uh, 
an actual antagonist at some point, you know? Yeah. Instead of, uh, she kind of like quit because the one time we get to see her fight, she's so badass, you know? Mm hmm. Yeah. She like splits up, divides. That's a, that's a synonym. She divides and goes into the, the two parasites and then he chops her up and he's like, she's camouflaged in the a raw emotion of the one that's chopped up. That was really cool. She's smart. I thought it was She's fucking smart. hilarious, though, when she was running with half a head, just laughing her ass off. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. We saw someone with half a head. Oh, no. My head's hollow. <laughs> <laughs> I would be pretty freaked out if all of a sudden um, the lady I was talking to just had no head. I'd be like, damn, this bitch crazy. <laughs> just like that? <laughs> yep. Interesting. I uh I wish she could have been more of a uh antagonist later on or a bigger antagonist than just I, like... yeah. That or just like more involved. Because if yeah. she's not gonna be an antagonist and she's gonna be like, Yeah, I don't really wanna fight humans, like I'm I'm just very curious about everything and I'm trying to learn and blah blah blah. It's like I'd like to see that more. She can have her own spin-off show and be pretty sweet. Yeah, I'd probably watch it. At least three episodes. Yeah, you simp for Reiko. No. I simp for Reagan. <laughs> Who doesn't simp for Reagan? Idiots. I miss Mob Psycho 100. Where is Mob Psycho 200? I, did we discuss, are they ever going to make a season three? I feel like they'd have to at some point. Did the manga stop? No, the manga's absolutely kept finished. going. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've talked about the uh, the question mark, question mark, question mark. Mm-hmm. Okay, I forgot. What Man, we're so good at staying on topic. God what damn. About, what about you, Anto? Do you like Goto or Reiko better? Um, I would probably have to go with Reiko. I th- yeah, I think so too. I mean, other than Goto's um, basic. <laughs> Well, I mean, other than him being like a tank, um, Reiko was very creative in the way she attacked, and uh, I really think that they could they missed an opportunity to expand on that a bit more. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'm not uh, I'm, uh, disagreeing like the way her storyline ended, but if they like maybe extended it just like a tiny bit longer, um, and then expose that uh, fight style a little bit more would be perfect yeah just wanted more more reiko because it's she's an interesting character and goto is just like me hate humans me smash yeah, everyone's objectives were pretty clear except for hers maybe if it could have been like she even became on shinichi's side you know and she had to fight goto with him might have been something to do you know you know what i mean yeah um also that would have been interesting that would um or even just like the fact that how they wanted to kill her do the same thing how they kind of like contracted it out like give her a a harder not necessarily goto but another hard parasite to try to kill yeah and maybe if she came around and like was working with the human race oh you guys um we've totally not talked about a huge plot twist. What? Hirakawa was human. Oh, I was oh, about yeah. to bring that up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, God, when I when can I freaking insert that and then <laughs> shit. <laughs> I did not see that coming at all, actually. I didn't either. It and was he just dies. I know. Maybe if we could see how humans reacted to him doing that, you know. Yeah. That was interesting though. It makes sense. Like there are going to be people who are going to just lose their minds when they see something like a parasite. And there are those that are going to be like, well, I'm just going to, you know, yep, you're right. I feel like the show lied to me though, about, about him being, what do you mean? Cause it's like, I can sense the parasites from up there. And it's like, that guy's a parasite. And Mickey's like, yeah, that guy's a parasite. no, Right, I I know that's not exactly what happened, but it feels like that's what happens. 
Well, he was surrounded by parasites, so. Well, the SWAT guy told everyone, like, everyone else is parasites. And so I'm thinking that it was more just, like, the, the people that encountered him were like, well, he could be, he could be wrong, but don't want to risk it. Yeah. And that's what they should have done. Like, I was going to be convinced that the president was like a more Goto version of Goto. Yeah, like something more. They made um, it like bigger than it needed to be because didn't like they give him a like a a, a message or a clue? Uh, Ryuko could like she's like the mayor's the key. She said that he's even more dangerous than Goto. Huh. Well, he is a human pushing parasite ideals. He's just a puppet. No, he wasn't. I mean, kind of not really. I mean, I get <laughs> that he wasn't, but the parasites just pushed that as far as they could. Well, he was doing things for them. I don't think he was doing things like... He, I don't think he was being controlled by them at all. He was just like, yeah, you guys are in the right. Well, but I mean, like, they saw that opportunity and they ran with it. So they, and I don't think he was really of any worth to him or to them. I think he was very worth, very much worth. Well, that's where you're wrong. You're not only wrong, you're stupid. He was, he was a human who knew about parasites, wasn't wanting to kill them. And I was like, yeah, you parasites are right. Us humans are fucking trash, bro. And they were like, wow, this is nice. Well, let's do let's like let's work together. Let's be let's have a mutual mutually beneficial relationship. He, I I feel like he wasn't ex- executed very well though. It was a cool idea, but he didn't end up being that dangerous. Nobody gave a shit about his ideas. <laughs> the danger comes from like the long term effects he could have. Yeah, but we don't see those. Would be a lot cooler if we did. It would be so much cooler if we did. Max, um, can I have like Parasite the longer? How cool would it be if it was like a alchemist's brotherhood? Brotherhood, where it was, para- yeah, Parasite the longer, Parasite the elder, Parasites on the elderly. Well, Anton, do you think that the president was a better antagonist than Goto? You mean the mayor? Yes, my bad. <laughs> he should have been president. <laughs> um. I'm still just not really convinced that he was a, a wasn't a puppet. So no, I'm gonna say no. Do you think he had the potential to be better though? Maybe. I just don't really see how he would come out on top anyway, or any situation. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because honestly, like he can be replaced easily. They they can change their look. Essentially, they're pretty much using him to prove that. He's not one of them if it comes to that. But if if they get to a certain level in the government or in their however that's formed and they've proven without a doubt that he's human, then he can easily just like, okay, you're done. Our turn. We'll take it from here. Why would they? Why would they not? Because it doesn't it's it's not logical to replace him for no reason. He's literally on their side. But like, he's still human, so how that so doesn't could, matter. He's it like does matter because are they going to really truly trust a human? Yeah. No. They don't show any signs of not trusting him. I don't necessarily think it's a matter of trust. However, <laughs> it's his usefulness. Well, I don't know. It kind of seems it's like not a matter of usefulness. It's yes, it, it is. No, you're it, viewing it. I I think you're viewing it in a very like um manipulative way like they aren't aren't they though aren't the that. aren't the parasites manipulative yeah but i don't think they're manipulating him because it sounds like he they're not in they're like not I said, totally like, all the time manipulating well I, like i said like he has a common goal and so they took advantage of it they partnered there's there's different ways you can say the same thing to make it not so negative i i see it as I, I, they <laughs> made a beneficial a mutually beneficial relationship partnership saying oh let's do this together i don't think they're like well as soon as we get you know any sign that humans trust you completely you're fucking gonzo bud we're replacing you bitch it almost felt like apart from Rico, he was the one in charge you know, like they actually had followed him as a leader or a leader type man. 
I still don't see it. I don't know, dude. I think you're afraid of parasites. <laughs> no. Why do I'm you hate saying, them so like, much? I'm saying that you you think that they're more human than they really were. No, you got to think logically. Like, what's I am the thinking logic? logical. Yeah. Like, seriously, they only think about themselves. So what they would do in that kind of situation is if they found someone that can push this rung up or go up this ladder, support that until you can't and then go from there. But I don't know. I just don't see it like that. I don't see it as because it, they it's not like they have an end goal of like, we want to control Japan. We want to be the wasn't it though? Like what? What no, was? No, he was mayor, goal? wasn't no. he? Well, I mean, what? What's after mayor? Well, why do they need to go past mayor? I mean, they're they only... got a feeding. They had a feeding zone. Okay. Well, I mean, that, then there's information that's missing that we can't help uh, that we can't determine because, like, if maybe there's only certain things a mayor can do to be able to provide them with what they need. I mean, we don't know that. I mean, what do they need? What do they need according to Anton? Well, I mean, like, uh, like the like a food source. I mean, like, what's going to go into into that to make people that be okay with people just disappearing? Eventually, maybe it will get national news. I mean, then the Fed, like the federal, like the federal government, or however it is in Japan, will start to investigate. Then they're going to have some issues again. Yeah, that's true. Um, they, so, I don't think that that was mentioned as like, I think they only mentioned that they had a feeding, like a, a feeding zone where they would eat. I mean, um, like to me, that was a thing that they had like at a, that time. I don't think that had like, they, that was their best system that they had at the time where the whole thing that they're doing, with the mayor is to secure something more safe. Well, I think the safest thing they can do is just stop eating people. Yeah. That's the, uh, you guys know that's the mayor who ate people. He's like, I love humans too. They taste good. I'm a big fan of human meat. Human and hue woman. I'll take them all. Yeah, I see it more of, uh, I don't know. I think that they almost were looking to him for guidance is how I see it. More than they were manipulating him. Because the only person I think that cares about manipulating humans enough to try is, is Reiko. Maybe that's, I just think a, that we didn't see enough enough of him. I don't think you're wrong. I, I think this show could have definitely benefited from being longer. I think Anton just hates parasites. <laughs> yeah, why do you hate possibly aliens? I don't get how you got to that assumption, though. <laughs> because uh, you're vilifying them, man. I poorly thought it out. I'm just trying to think of what the information that I have is that they're trying to feed on humans and that's go from there. I'm not saying that oh, in any other specific trying. way. They were doing. I know, but it's fun if we just harass you a little bit. <laughs> Maybe they're just interested in small town politics. That's it. I can see them instead of manipulating the mayor, using the mayor and realizing he's an asset that can get them to the point where they can f- be free from possible oppression. Yeah, that's like I'm saying. He, it's just something that they saw was beneficial and helpful, and they did that. Look, what really is the cause and the like catalyst of that relationship is they all had a crush on him. I can believe that. And they weren't totally sure if he was a parasite or not. They're like, he only gives off one signal, and that's carnal lust. <laughs> we're confused by it carnal lust huh Jeez. yeah it's a very strong emotion among parasites yeah that's true one of them did get pregnant Reiko yep baby I really wish I could have heard more about Reiko like I don't know it sounds like we're pretty much in consensus that we'd like it to be a tiny bit longer and just more information about these characters well, shit, I I, since, because I like the second half and I didn't really care for the first half, just take out a little bit from the first half, replace it with what we liked from the <gasps> second half. You scum. Perfect. Perfect. Get me sick. Just give it, like, I don't know, a couple hundred episodes. I'd prefer if you didn't. <laughs> I don't know, maybe 30? 30. 30 episodes. Like I said, even if we did, like, a Brotherhood-esque situation where it's like, this is the thing... I don't know. 
I kind of want to read the manga now. Manga? Whatever. You guys know what I mean. There's no reason to put on airs. Japanese comic book, yeah. Sounds like so pretentious when you say it like that. <laughs> I know. So what do you guys... Um, I'm, I'm interested to hear Antones. What do you guys rate this as a whole? The Seven show. And Seven have. And remember, I'm trying to use the not American school system of grading where it's like, that's bad. Seven and a half is good. Yeah, that's that's pretty solid. We're talking like maybe even close to an eight. We're talking like the IMDB rating system. I would have I would have to go with a six. Ooh, second half just wasn't good enough. Uh, it was going to be a four if it was as good as or as terrible as the first half. Ooh, the second half saved it a bit. I think I'm going to give it a uh, hmm. I think a seven. Okay. Yeah. Definitely, it's a, it's definitely a show I recommend. Um, but I'm surprised you guys are as low as you were, because you guys seem to be praising it so much until <laughs> until now. Well, it is really good, and I mean, I think it's I don't know. There's just there are parts that I didn't really care for that I didn't notice when I first watched it. I just and like I said, it's really good. I, I want everyone to think, like I said, the seven and a half is not like a horrible thing. Yeah. I don't know. Like once you, and maybe this is just me, but once you start watching things to like, okay, what do I like? What do I not like? I want to talk about this. It just makes it so much harder to like things a lot. It definitely makes it easier to be critical. Yeah. And so I just, I think the second season just left kind of a bad taste in my mouth. Because I didn't like... There are more things in the second part that I didn't like than the first. Oh, 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 oh. I was going to say this and I forgot. Speaking of things that sucks, that poor, poor inspector who had his life ruined. Oh, God, yeah. His fault. Yeah, but still. Parasite's fault, too. I mean, they should have killed him and then his family. Yeah, those guys are idiots. It's worse if you kill a family and not him. I know, he straight up was like, I'm going to kill this baby. And then, joke's on her, he was never going to kill that baby. Do, it. do you I think he was going to? Do you think he could have? I, yeah, I definitely think he could have, but I didn't think he would have. You know, you knew what I meant before you said that. Yeah, but I like correcting you to make you feel dumb. Commission accomplished. It's all about the power dynamic. Good to hear. It was so easy for you to do that to your friend. <laughs> Yeah, I feel terrible now. Good. I feel almost as bad as if I dropped a baby off a bridge. Almost. I wish, I wish she could have been a bigger part of that show. She was yeah. really proud, probably the most interesting. Her and Migi, most interesting characters by far. I want to see what happens to Migi. He disappeared into his body. What do you mean? What happens like later on? He comes back to life and, and gives what's her name the... I don't want to say... Finger bang because that's some crap of the century. <laughs> Gives her the business. Gives her the job. Business. No, I want to see like what growth he has as a character from from taking a sabbatical. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm interested. I'm I'm curious. Curious about what? About that? About character growth? Mm. Oh, my apologies. Yeah. Curious about that. So, I don't... I doubt it's going to be in the manga. I assume that the manga ends just like the show. Or, like, at the same point. You feel me? I do. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, What Anything are we watching else? next? No, nothing, no, okay. Well, yeah. Next is uh, Trey's choice. So, if you want to go ahead and pitch that to everyone, go ahead. Yeah, it's Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, a dark and oppressive and dark movie directed by my favorite director, David Fincher, starring Daniel Craig and Rooney Mara. Um, it's a murder mystery. It's about a disgraced uh, ex-journalist. I guess he's still a journalist, but a disgraced one at that. And he teams up with a misfit girl to help solve uh, and help find a killer of women. And not to be confused with the uh, Swedish one. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the American one. Yeah. So uh, if you want to know the difference or easiest way, again, uh, look for uh, Daniel Craig uh, or the one with Daniel Craig was released in 2011, where the Swedish one was released in 2009. So there we go. Uh, Look for those to understand which one we are watching because we made that mistake already. Uh, I watched yeah. the Swedish one, and then Tyler, I think, watched half of the Swedish Swedish one. From what I've heard, the Swedish one's pretty good, though. Yeah, it was. It was, it was good. insane. I liked it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and watch the other one, and maybe we can probably even compare a little bit too. Uh, Ooh, some I'll some do- talking points. Yeah. Well, if you are looking to know where you can stream this, uh, it is available on Stars uh, and Direct TV. Uh, if you have as well, uh, Popcorn Flicks, whatever that is, uh, it has ads. Uh, but you can go ahead and watch it with ads for free if you have uh, uh, an account with that. I couldn't uh, even imagine watching that with ads. It's like it's uh two and two and a half hours long. The Swedish version is is nearly three. <laughs> yeah, it's long as fuck. Just like the, because like I said, it's dark and oppressive and all this stuff, and then it's just like, Haha, here's an ad for Ben Gay. Fair. One of the characters. Yeah, if you have uh, difficulties with that type of situation sexual assault uh just know that there is that in there oh yeah yeah i guess uh trigger yeah trigger warnings, <laughs> trigger warnings. i'm not a whole well, big thing over trigger warnings but that i understand is is a big one so yeah, it, definitely it's pretty, a pretty graphic desp- description of sexual assault. it yeah. doesn't yeah. pull any purpose. yeah speaking from someone who saw the swedish one it's uh it made me sad yep very sad it was, it was <laughs> I almost just fast forwarded through it so I didn't have to watch it so you've been warned folks alright well uh, lastly if you haven't followed us on any of our social medias go ahead and do that you can find us at twitter or on twitter uh, at seawatchingpod uh, we recently got uh, instagram uh, which is continue watching pod uh, we don't really do much on that just yet as we're trying to really figure out how to best schedule our posts it's instagram is its own beast um then facebook.com slash continue watching uh we also have a youtube go ahead and subscribe to us there i would actually really greatly appreciate that um because if we can get to a thousand followers we can make a customizable link uh so I don't have to direct you through some shitty means uh so if you want a link to our youtube go to anchor.fm slash continue watching you can actually find a link right there um and i think that is everything well we have to explain why it's important that they subscribe because if you don't get to a thousand followers we can't make our twitter or our youtube url be x x or small x big x small x underscore underscore 420 69 69 420 <laughs> underscore small x big x small x at youtube.com so it's important to everybody that you do your part so we can get that done. Alrighty. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for continue watching. Bye. Yeah.